Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we've seen Bitcoin pump past our 50% resistance zones. So we're going to cover that off today and just see what is happening next. Why did this happen? What can we expect next? And how are we playing this with our fear and greed plan and what it is we're investing in and why? So without further ado, make sure you hit that like button right there. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, then click all so you can see the updates and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram daily crypto news updates and chart updates over on Twitter so you can stay ahead and uh, keep up to date with what's going on rather than catching pieces here and there on YouTube. And of course, the Q&A's over on Instagram. So all the links to that are down below. Let's start with the market caps. And remember, we've been following the 50% zone of our market caps for months now. And we're at 1.52 trillion. Our 50% point was between the 1.28 and 1.33. So we had two different metrics there, two different levels that we've been watching now. We're above those. We've pushed above it primarily thanks to Bitcoin now sitting at 12% over the last 24 hours. Remember here, I've been talking about Bitcoin dominance increasing, altcoins dropping. That's why I haven't been investing in a ton of altcoins, just a few for the last several years weeks and also a couple of months. Reason being is that we tend to see Bitcoin rise during the first stages of a bull market and then that money flows into the altcoins. So if you're sitting here wondering why I'm going on about altcoins bleeding, if you've missed the live stream today, make sure you check out the live stream as well. That is why and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about on this chart here. So this is CoinGecko and I'm changing over the value. So I've got Bitcoin, all you got to do is drop that down and instead of it being on USD, you're going to look at it on Bitcoin. So instead of USD, you look at it on Bitcoin. What you want to see here is 24 hours, even the seven days. Obviously, I, I like longer term time frames as well, but this has been very consistent over the last uh, every day and then obviously the last week. Now, what you want to see here to ensure that your altcoin is actually going up in value. So you want to reduce your risk. You don't want to be trading a lot of risky altcoins, but you want to still be getting the gains. You want to see your altcoin be positive in the green when we're looking at the Bitcoin price. So today we've seen Ethereum down against Bitcoin, Binance down, Cardano down, XRP down. Uh, the stable coins are obviously down because Bitcoin's up. We've got Chainlink, tiny percentage up, 0.4. You can just see the, the amount of red here, red, 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 red. AMP up, we'll have a look at that on the charts. Red, 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 red. Even the seven days, a lot of this is red. We've got a couple that are, are turning over, a bit of sushi. Uh, and then in the last hour, they're starting to come back. So if you're looking at it very short term, sure, you could trade that off for some more Bitcoin if you're a short term trader on the hourly chart. But if you're looking at long term investment, you don't want to see your altcoins bleeding out against Bitcoin because then you're taking the risk for these altcoins to gain in value when you could just take the risk on Bitcoin. It's, you know, it's still a risky asset at the moment. So that's what we're looking at overall. And... Uh, in terms of our market caps today, everything is in the in the green when we look at it on a USD value. So we're going to get into the altcoins as well and also Cardano, big one. So let's check those out now, but let's first get into the news. Now, Amazon plans to accept Bitcoin payments this year, claims insiders. I was looking at this. I had this in a video yesterday. I cut it out because it was just speculation. It was just a whole lot of speculation. I thought, I don't need to bring more noise in. This has now been confirmed by an insider. So let's have a look at it here and then move on to some of the other pieces of news which might be also influencing the price. Amazon plans to accept Bitcoin payments. All right, we've got an insider here saying it begins with Bitcoin. An anonymous insider says, an anonymous source with Amazon has reportedly told London newspaper that the e-commerce giant is planning to accept Bitcoin payments by the end of 2021, possibly setting the stage for broader mainstream acceptance of crypto transactions. You know, if this is true, then of course, this is going to be massive. Amazon is international. Right now, we're speculating on a whole lot. And who knows? This could be very, very well true. And of course, we're seeing that on the price. The price has moved up a fair bit. We just, at the moment, at the time of this recording, we've tipped out at 39-ish thousand dollar Bitcoin. So we're getting very close to our next resistance level of approximately 42,000. So we want to see 42,000 break and then consolidate above that level. We'll get into the TA. You know, that's my favorite part. That's what we do here. And, and in the Investor Accelerator, which there is a link to down below, there is a special on now. So go and check out the Investor Accelerator. Lots of great weekly reports. Now, Bitcoin surges to 40,000. So this was a little older. This is what we were seeing yesterday. 
Much of the Amazon speculation dates back to a post on jobs boards looking for a digital lead focused on cryptocurrency. So at this stage, it does to appear to be speculation. Obviously, we had a little more confirmation now of an insider. Still, do you want to be placing your bets on an insider voice and then putting your life savings into something or putting your next investment into Bitcoin based on a news article? Personally, I don't. That's why we have the fear and greed plan for a starting point for new investors. And of course, we do more of that on the Investor Accelerator. As I said, link down below. Next bit of Bitcoin news, it still seems like there, well, this is an old piece here, but I wanted to bring it up to say, don't don't forget what the other side of the equation is. They still want to try and push Bitcoin down. They, who's they? Maybe the government, maybe other people that are associated with the government. We do have the regulations coming through as well for stable coins. So if we get stable coin regulations, maybe that'll affect Bitcoin. I'm just saying, let's stay aware of both sides. I know our emotions have been drawn up and dragged up with this Bitcoin news of Amazon Insider saying they'll accept Bitcoin by the end of the year. I want to remain level-headed, especially at these times. We are still buying. We are still buying Bitcoin and we're getting a very good price on our altcoins as we move forward because we have that Bitcoin. All right, so this is how I play the market safe, as safe as I, I think I can, moving forward, understanding the news and the charts. So remember this old news, Bitcoin has failed miserably as a currency. There's the narrative. Uh, we've also got the stablecoin narrative. Stablecoin rules are coming. Um, we haven't heard this. We haven't heard this lately, remember? So uh, all they have to do is just switch something else on. All right, start hammering the stablecoin regulation. Start to spook the market, the narrative, etc. Don't forget that. Last thing here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, bullish streak heading to upper end of range. This is what we're seeing now. This is Australian Yahoo Finance. This is starting to make the headlines. What happens when cryptocurrencies make the headlines of retail news? Sometimes it's close to the top. Sometimes it is the top. I want to, I want to be very cautious here and I don't want to be buying in at levels uh, just because I am hyped up on emotion. Our average price of buying Bitcoin is still $34,080. So that leads us into a profit at the moment. So let's have a quick look at our fear and greed plan. Fear is at 26, yesterday 27, last week 24. We haven't had any other buying opportunities yet. Last one here was at 21, 21st of July at 10. Remember it's 15 and under. Our plan shows us at a profit now, a profit of $1,600. The approximate price at the time of this recording is 38,400. We have $12,000 invested so far. We're going to keep buying anytime this is under or 15 or under. And we're up 13%, $1,600. bucks. after all of that, that's amazing. I reckon that's pretty cool. So this is one simple way to start getting into the market without getting caught up in the news, in the hype. Speaking of news, the last piece of news I have here is the trillions and trillions of dollars which the US government is still wanting to spend for infrastructure. So this is going backwards and forwards between the parties and the houses and they want to be putting more money into the market. We still know that that is coming and possibly even multiple trillions if the Democrats have their ways. So we're still pretty safe in that regard. Check out Michael's channel if you haven't already. I bring this up because he does go into the news, nice, succinct very clean analysis here of the news headlines. Remember, no, news is noise and we just want to understand what retail, what the dumb money is looking at and use that to our advantage when it comes to our investing. So this is my brother's channel, Michael Pizzino. Go check his video out. Also looks at trading, day trading because that is what he's been doing for the last 11 years. Now let's look at the charts. So I'm going to start with AMP. This has been a really hot one today. Don't worry if you don't trade AMP. Don't worry if you don't care about AMP. Don't worry if you'll never, ever buy or hold AMP. The point here is a nice setup. So this is what we're looking for. And this is what gets me excited for altcoins. I need to start talking about some of the excitement because the chart actually looks good. So this has taken off. Okay, this is late now. But what I want to look at is what looks good. And then we can use that in our altcoins. Okay, so support levels broke down, base formed, inverted head and shoulders, support levels came as resistance. We went sideways and we broke out on strong volume. That's exactly what I talk about in every video. That's what I wait for, especially with cryptocurrencies because they behave very much like penny stocks. So this is the 
the signal here. Breakout, got another breakout of this inverted head and shoulders. See that? Broke out on strong volume and this market just did not go down. And then another break. That's a pretty good area to be buying in for a trade or even an investment. This is like a longer term thing here, solid. So your downside risk is very minimal, very minimal. And then your upside is who knows where. It could go up anywhere. But at least you've got some low levels, you've got low risk, and you can continue to put your stops closer up so that you don't fall into a loss like what happened through March, April, May, and then the market tanked in mid to late May. Okay, so we're going to look at Bitcoin. We want to look at uh, a Cardano as well. This is the BTC chart, okay? I've got it on a four hour. Let's put it on a daily. And the, the idea here is that we want to be trading or buying into an uptrend. The BTC chart is still in a downtrend. This looks like it's really trying to hold, uh, get it into a green day and start to hold some BTC levels. It's really trying, but we just don't get that push back. So Cardano against Bitcoin is still trending down. Cardano USD, of course, is trending up because the US dollar is up. Oh, the Bitcoin USD is up. So of course, this is going to be up. We just broke through 50%. Well, we've got to wait for this day to close. So we need to stay above the dollar 30 and hold that to have some hope. This could remain where it is if Bitcoin continues up, but our BTC ADA, ADA BTC will continue to fall if the ADA USD holds steady and Bitcoin goes up. So we're still getting the gains. We're still getting our gains in fiat value by buying Bitcoin because these charts are, follow, are, are trending down. They have been better over the last hour than they were just two hours ago when Bitcoin took off. That's a very positive sign. But the, the trend at the moment is still down, down, down. And I'm looking at a bit more of a longer term time frame than just the daily or the four hourly. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for a solid low to be put in and then we start to break up again. Okay, so that's A to BTC. A lot of these majors are down and then you can also see it on their dominance. Dominance is up by 1%, but let's look at Bitcoin dominance is up. We've got that little break. And the next levels we want is 49%. We're getting very close to our 48% break here. And then we're looking for this high, which is 487 So we want to get that break. We want to get to 49 and a close above 49%. I potentially see a top coming in. You can see some um, support back here. So we're looking for resistance. If we get a top uh, basing out or you know, pushing up into 52, 53, maybe we'll see a reversal and then some money from Bitcoin flow into the altcoins. That's when I'll get bullish. That's a really, really good sign that we could possibly be spinning some of our money into alts to then get even more Bitcoin. All right. So the game for me is about patience. I'm not just going to get hyped up on the, the giddiness of a couple of hours worth of trading on Bitcoin, just shooting up to higher levels. Bitcoin, speaking of, 38K, we did break through our 50% zone of $35,000 here. Just short of the next level, you can see here, this is one of them around 39, but then of course our major that we want to get through is at 41 and a half. So that's why I'm calling it around 42. I want to see decisive, clear action, break above 42, close above and hold above there. This is just what I've been doing for the last 11 years, trading in the markets. This is what I'm looking for to give me confirmation that the market wants to move higher. The other thing I don't see here is volume. Volume is the lifeblood. You've got to look at volume. Make sure that you keep this on your chart and start to recognize where the money is moving to. If we don't have the volume, we just don't have the money coming in. We have some breaks. Maybe we had some short squeezes, but we want to get that volume come through. So keep that on your charts and follow up with the volume. So that's Bitcoin. There are our levels. We've broken 35K. Consolidation above 36 is a very, very good start. Then we can start to form some movement in this area. Of course, there are plenty of downside uh, risks. We don't have the volume. You can look back at 2019 and see that the market also had these periods of spikes and then it just died off for months. You know, so I'm being cautious at the moment. We've got our purchase area. We're average at 34K. If we get the fear and greed and we fall, sure, we can keep buying in. Some altcoins which are doing well, I'm also looking at those. You know, those on the channel, I've talked about them. So make sure you go back and check those videos out. They are holding up okay. Stuff like FTT, which I just did a video on. We're up at these levels. Not too bad. We've got higher lows at the moment. It is starting to track a little way down. We'll keep following that. But at the moment, the spotlight's on Bitcoin. The dominance is looking very good on Bitcoin, as you can see. <laughs> we're starting to head up and then of course Cardano 
uh, which we just covered today. The dominance is okay. BTC is what I want to look out for. The dollar's looking great. It would be in my interest to tell you to hype you up on Cardano and buy Cardano. That's more in my interest. Go and stake it in my staking pool, earn some great returns. So I am just looking out for what is happening on the charts rather than becoming too much of a zealot about one particular cryptocurrency as you tend to see out there and basically go all in on something. Anyway, we'll leave that for the next videos. I thank you very much. I hope you've found some value from this video. Make sure you like, share the content if you find some value from it. Subscribe to the channel, hit bell notification and all so you can see the content as it comes out. Follow me on Twitter for daily updates on the markets with some charts as well. Instagram, daily Q&As. Go and follow that now. You've got a chance to ask your questions over there. And I'll see you guys at the next video. There is a special on the, the Investor Accelerator. Check the link out down below. And also stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator pool. We had a fantastic epoch lately getting above average returns. So make sure we see yourself over there. Thanks, guys. Once again, until next video, have more fun to get more done.